Welcome to DT Daily. I'm Casey Montoya. Today, U.S. Customs delays the import of HTC's flagship phones because of Apple. Scientists learn how to speak dolphin. Aaron Sorkin decides to write the Steve Jobs biopic. And a new free-to-play shooter sees huge downloads. If you're hoping to purchase an HTC One X on AT&T or an HTC Evo 4G LTE on Sprint anytime soon, you might want to sit down and find a cold drink. Due to a ruling by the International Trade Commission back in December, U.S. Customs has indefinitely banned the import of these HTC Android phones. The agency is now investigating the phones to make sure they don't violate a patent by Apple. HTC claims its phones are now clean of Apple patents, but we don't know when or if these devices will be released here in the U.S. Academy Award-winning screenwriter Aaron Sorkin has officially signed on to write the story of Steve Jobs' life. The biopic will be based off of Walter Isaacson's biography of the late Apple co-founder and CEO, who was heralded by many as a revolutionary genius of consumer electronics, but feared as a ruthless businessman. Sony secured the rights to Isaacson's book and a $1 million deal made in the days following Jobs' death last fall. Sorkin is best known as writer of The West Wing and The Social Network, a semi-fictional tale about Facebook's early days. Marine biologists have long said that dolphin is closer to human intelligence than any other animals. And now, with the help of a new gadget, our two species may soon be able to converse. Acoustic researchers have created a device called the Dolphin Speaker. It allows humans to produce the full range of low-frequency dolphin sounds for the first time ever. The Dolphin Speaker was created by graduate students at Tokyo University of Marine Sciences and Technology, and so far it's passed preliminary tests. The next step is to find out whether dolphins will actually respond to the device. With the release of blockbuster games like Diablo 3 and Max Payne 3 this week, the video game industry is hoping to reverse a trend of declining retail sales, but one classic game series may have already figured out the answer. Tribes Ascend, a free-to-play PC first-person shooter, has accumulated more than 1.2 million downloads in its first month. That, according to developer High res Studios. This marks the fourth Tribes game as the most successful of the series to date and a serious contender for the type of gamers who might otherwise be playing the likes of Diablo and Max Payne. The game is funded by small micro-purchases players make inside the game, with more highly anticipated free-to-play shooters like Planet Side 2 on the horizon. Could be a tough year for games with a price tag. That does it for today. Check back with Digital Trends later for our in-depth reviews of Samsung's latest tablet, the Galaxy Tab 2 10.1, and of Sony's most impressive digital camera yet, the Nex F3.